Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. FIFA 19 is literally coming out tomorrow through the web app and then on Thursday we have EA Access. I thought why not put together 10 players which are really going to help you get up and running on Ultimate Team. These are what I'd like to call hidden beasts. So not so much from the popular leagues, a couple are, but they're being overshadowed by just really expensive players. So are you guys ready? Leave a like, share it around, that would be helpful. And if you are needing game codes or anything game related, head over to g2a.com, use the code FUJI on that site to get a discount on every single order and let's get into it and by the way if you do want to see the starter squad that i've been working on for a couple of days now make sure to leave a like i've been tweaking it trying to get the best of the players in ready for the rtg grind which is going to be starting sometime next week so leave a like and i will share that with you starting off with carrasco 83 rated so he has moved over to the chinese league but it's fantastic because they are on the game so he's available to purchase and when i came across him I wanted to use him as at least an impact sub or to get him into the starting 11. 4 star, 4 star, 5'11", which is a good high, a high medium, and then his in-game stats, he's got the acceleration. His shooting is actually pretty good as well. 84 shot power, which is uh, fantastic. 79 finishing, which is pretty high. And then the dribbling stats, the stamina 74, seems to be like the average. I've looked at midfielders, attackers, and 74 is about the sweet spot anything more is just really a bonus but he looks insane man for what he's going to cost like a, a prediction of his price maybe like 2500 coins and then just drop because he's in the chinese league and, and some people might just think about focusing on syria Liga one premier league so this in my opinion is a hidden beast and if you get in early you're going to get a lot for your money so i guess it would be wrong for me to say that this guy is hidden but the point I'm trying to get across is the players such as Fabinho, Ndidi, you've got Kante, they're overshadowing this guy. And I think a lot of people have forgotten about Teresa Gay. I liked him on FIFA 17. I thought he was good. He had an inform in that. FIFA 18, just thought he was a little bit too weak for the game and I preferred Kante. He's had a really nice upgrade. Well, from what I've seen anyway, the interceptions, 86, which is pretty damn high. You've got stand tackle there, the aggression, the jumping, the stamina, and pretty good acceleration. I think that he is just the cheap version of an N'Golo Kante. I know that a lot of people are going to go for Ndidi because he just looks like a Bakayoko version 2. But Durisage, I think he's going to be at a competitive price. And it's something that could be worth bringing in. Instead of just like uh, focusing on the hype of Fabinho and stuff, bring in Durisage and I think he's going to hold it down for you. So I've got another awesome CDM for you boys. Uh, Tusa, 79 rated, which is very low. And I don't think that he's going to be selling for an awful lot. Maybe like 1,005, 2,000 coins. Six foot one, medium to high work rate. So he is going to legit stay back. He's not going to push up. He doesn't really have the stats for that. 66 passing, which isn't great. 55 shot. 70 dribbling though. So he does have like average ball control. The pace isn't insane but it's good enough his defensive and physicals are the ones that you want to look for 82 stand tackle 82 interceptions which is going to get the job done and then the jump in stamina strength and aggression he's going to be pretty difficult to break down i'd imagine so for his price and what you're getting back He's worth it. So I did make a little prediction last week and I was suggesting that the French players were going to take over Ultimate Team. And I still stick by that when a lot of coins are available. And if you've played Foot Champs, played Foot Division Rivals, you're going to be seeing a lot more of those French icons, special cards, SBCs being introduced into your team. But the Brazilians to start off with, there are so many cheap, overpowered looking players. And one of them is Alex Texeria. The new Gabriel Jesus. I'm going to predict that he's going to be just as overpowered as Malcolm from Barcelona. Four star, four star. Very, very good stats. I know he's only five foot nine, but that doesn't bother me at all. And as that playmaking striker that just has full control over the ball, the dribbling stats are pretty much perfect for an overpowered player. The stamina is great as well. That's a, an underrated stat on FIFA 19 with what EA have explained and how much it actually affects your overall stats like strength, um, aggression, positioning, marking. 
it is going to affect everyone on the pitch. So 83 is good. The jumping, the strength, not so bad. And then the finishing 77 with very, very good composure. 84, that is like a standout stat for a 79 rated card with that kind of acceleration and sprint speed. It just ticks all the boxes. This guy is going to be overpowered and he is officially in my starting 11 on the RTG. So yesterday I was on the hunt to try and find at least two or three cheap overpowered strikers from one league and it's difficult unless you've got a ton of coins it's very hard to uh, come by and then i found myself in the syria looking at martinez from inter milan and this card just reminds me of palacio remember him on the game he, it was like three years ago now when he was playing uh, for inter argentina in the syria and he's got himself a really, really good card, Martinez. Five foot nine, four star, four star. He has 86 strength, which is one of the highlighted stats. The dribbling is okay. I think he's going to be playable. 82 finishing, a pretty decent pace. And I think the partnered with the strength and the jumping and stuff, he is going to be a handful for those starter squads. Can't see him selling for that much really like because of his dribbling on his face that doesn't look ideal i would say like 2000 to 3000 coins probably not even that 2000 coins maybe and i i think that he's gonna put in a good shift for your side don't panic there are ways to get jakea into a team this guy is looking absolutely fantastic from the russian league there are a few options 91 acceleration why do you think we've picked him out yeah because of that stat 86 strength which is insane his aggression as well is pretty good so with that acceleration strength aggression powering your opponent down tracking back or just uh pushing up and, and being aggressive i think that that's going to be just such a good center back to use you've got the slide tackle of 85 which is which is mad so yeah he's going to be able to slide around all over the place 75 stand tackle which is average but good enough 80 marking you going to want to bring this guy into some sort of team and if you need help then i will be producing videos and inside of the rtg i'm going to be trying all different like starter squads and if you want to check out the streams as well we're going to be really active over there streaming for like at least seven hours a day so link in the description to my twitch channel but that guy just looks sick so the other day i did show you zakaria the guy from the bundesliga who's from switzerland and he makes a really good cdm then you've got a kanji as your right center back and then to finish off chemistry in let's say a 4-3-3 defensive you've got Mbabu because the, the Bundesliga right backs they look okay they're like two two that stand out for me a visor that I really like because he has four star four star but he seems to be a little bit weak and I'm, I'm gonna expect that going into the challenge and then the other guy from Borussia Dortmund not bad like just a, a little bit average whereas Mbabu he's offering the physical stats the acceleration, the pay, he just looks like such a beast and he offers good height as well. So I think Mbabu is going to be viable, very, very cheap and a beast. So with this next player, he is looking absolutely fantastic. 78 rated, which is pretty low. Uh, St. Maxim, 5 for 8. He's got high to low work rates, which is going to really help his stamina. So he's not going to push back unless you change your game plan and tell him to press well you tell your whole team to be pressing on heavy touches or constant pressure it's gonna obviously uh, deplete his stamina a little bit more but 72 isn't that bad i think at least have a sub ready to be brought on but he's offering four star four star very good acceleration fantastic ability on the ball and then the finishing 70 with 70 composure and 80 shot power it could be overpowered in game that guy is someone that i would typically use like looking at the pace the dribbling the shooting everything it's like the recipe for an overpowered card whether or not he plays like that in game we've got to go and test with this next player i wasn't too sure if i had already shared him with you but because of how he looks i didn't want to miss out the opportunity just in case i haven't so how do you pronounce his name uh shubamin I think that's how you say it. Six foot one, uh, medium to high work rates. And then his in-game stats are actually fantastic. The pace is fine. Like 75 acceleration and then 79 sprint speed is actually pretty quick. His short passing 78 for a CDM is nice. So he's going to be comfortable just playing the ball uh, from the back. He has 
average defending stats, like 79 interceptions, 80 stand tackles, 79 marking, it's not terrible, but it could be overpowered. But his physical, that's why you want to bring him in. He's six foot one, he's got good jumping, and then the stamina, strength, and aggression are really, really high for someone who's only 79 rated. I think he's going to probably outperform someone like Zakaria from the Bundesliga as well. You've got other other cards available to you. So keep an eye on him. Like another 79 rated player who just looks like a tank and he's going to be cheap. That is perfect for a starter team. And the last one to finish off the list, Salvio, 81 rated. This guy looks lethal. Four star, four star, five for eight, high tie work rate. So he's gonna drop back, collect the ball, offer that support. His acceleration sprint speed, great. Shooting, the 83 positioning, the finishing, the shot power, the long shots is all very good. The dribbling stats, maybe I'd like a little bit more agility, but 85 dribbling, 84 ball control. The jumping, 87. The stamina, 85. Jesus, like I'm going to have to at least use him as some sort of impact sub or try and get him into a team on full chemistry. Some of the players from the Liga Nos, you have a Manuel Fernandez that looks great for a cam. I know that uh, Pizzi doesn't really have uh, a bad card. I just don't necessarily think I'd rush out and go and purchase Pizzi. But Manuel Fernandez, I think I've got his name right. He looks sick. So there are options to get him into a team. But if you can't, don't worry. Use him as an impact sub and he should be impactful for your side. But boys, that is the 10 players I wanted to share with you today. We've got the web app maybe later tonight, but the official launch is tomorrow. Oh my God, yes. And then EA Access on Thursday. I've got FIFA points ready. I'm gonna be opening up a lot of packs. Follow the Twitch stream, link in the description. Leave a like on the video and I will see you boys on the next one. The RTG, FIFA 19 RTG is gonna be starting very, very soon, sometime next week. Are you hyped for that? I'm hyped. Take care. Peace.